Kyle from Winter's Verge, and uh, I'm here today to talk about my bass, this uh, Warwick Thumb Six String Bolton. This is my main. This is my main instrument. This is the one I play about 80% of the time with Winter's Verge. Um, I use it for recording. Use it for gigs. It's a real tank. It's a real workhorse. It's really solidly built. Um, the hardware lasts forever, sounds great, and uh, yeah, it, it does everything I need it to do. Um, it's not the most versatile bass in the world, it's got a couple of sounds, but they're both really good. Probably more than a couple of sounds, maybe four sounds, for being generous. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it, it works with everything, and I've, I've had this bass for about 10 years now. It's taken all the abuse I've uh, given it and uh, not complained. Hasn't broken down, hasn't fallen apart. Uh, it's fallen off stage a couple of times, I've knocked it over and you know, it's got a couple of battle scars here and there, but other than that it's uh, held up remarkably well. Um, some people ask me why I play a six string. Uh, one reason for that was when I was younger I listened to a lot of dream theatre, so make of that what you will. Uh, I figured, oh wow, that's cool, John Myung has a six string bass, I'll go and get one. And I got one before I even really figured out how to play bass in the first place. Um, and uh, eventually I just got s tired of, you know, trying to play all these uh, all these Dream Theater songs in the way that he was playing them. And then I realized that it actually makes things easier. Uh, things that might be really complicated to play on a four string, uh, because instead of having to move your hands horizontally, you can just move vertically. You got all these octaves. So, for example, on a four string to do something like this. On, on this bass, you can go. It's uh, it's just me being lazy. Uh, let's let's be honest now. <laughs> but yeah. Um, as for the base itself, it's a 1999 model, and I, uh, I had upgraded with uh, Seymour Duncan baseline pickups. Uh, I put the, I've actually put bass lines on all my basses because I just really like the way they sound. They really complement the natural acoustic sound of the bass itself. Um, it's got a really thick, heavy tone, as you can tell. <laughs> growly sounds, really strong low mids, and that's really useful for cutting through the mix, either live or either on recordings. Um, it's just a very easy sound to work with, and uh, most sound guys are, uh, are, are pleasantly surprised. Um, you, you, you hear stories about saying, oh, this bass was a real pain in the ass to get a sound out of, oh, this guy brought this bass in, it was, you know, the sound wasn't that great, blah, blah. Every single sound guy I've worked with has said, Wow, your bass sounds really good. That's a really easy sound to work with. So um, yeah, it's my work ho my workhorse. Um, it's uh, gone everywhere. It's uh, showing its age a bit, but main reason is because the main reason it's showing its age is because I use it that much. And um, yeah, I'm perfectly happy with it. And it's uh, it's wonderful. Um, then some people might ask you, why do you have more than one bass? And after I laugh at them, uh, I then explain that the variety is the spice of life. And even though I love this bass and it's my main one, uh, I have other ones because why not? And um, I'll be making a couple of videos about my other basses. I have some other kind of slightly more normal things and some weirder things. Um, but yeah, the, that's my Warwick uh, Thumb Bolton 6 String and uh, it rocks. So if you're, ever thinking, if you're ever thinking about getting a bass like this, a six string bass, I can easily recommend this one. It's great. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, subscribe to the channel. There's lots more stuff coming up. Um, check out our album, Four. It's on iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, everywhere. And we'll see you guys soon.